Happy Friday Eve, y'all. X-Man 1991 back again with another sports topic. Sorry I could not find the February 1998 and February 2007 schedule of MTV. That's what I was trying to do so I could come on and review it. But unfortunately, I couldn't find it. I'm going to try to find it one more time. And if I can't find it, then all well then. Looks like I can't find it. But anyway, this rant is sponsorship by Body Armor Sports Drink. Today's flavor, the Black Out Berry. And I do not have to take a sip of this because I do not have to keep my anger in check. We're going to go ahead and do a recap of last night's showdown between the Cleveland Cavaliers, and the Houston Rockets. So like I said last night, the Rockets dominated the first half. They were lucky to outscore the Cavs by a point in the first quarter, 32-31. Then they outscored them by 10 points in the second quarter, 32-22. At halftime, Rockets 64 Cavs 53. Rockets lost by six in the third quarter, 30 to 26. After three, Rockets 90, Cavs 83. Rockets made a comeback in the fourth quarter, outscoring the Cavs by four in the fourth quarter, 25 to 21. Final score, Houston Rockets 115, Cleveland Cavaliers 104. The Rockets are now 15-36, and 36, finally ended their five-game losing streak as the Cavs fall 31-21. and 21. Tomorrow night, the Rockets go against the Spurs in San Antonio before they take on the Pelicans at the crib on Sunday. Tuesday, they go against the Pelicans. Next Thursday, taking on the Raptors. Valentine's Day against the Jazz. The 16th against the Suns. The 17th against the Clippers. Then they got the All-Star break, and then they're back on the 25th going against the Magic. The 27th taking on the Clippers. March 1st, taking on the Clippers. March 2nd, taking on the Jazz. March 4th, against the Denver Chicken Nuggets. March 6th, taking on the Grizzlies. March 7th, against the Heat. March 9th, the 25th anniversary of Biggie's death, taking on the Lakers. Oh, I can't wait to do a recap of those games. The Heat and the Rockets on March 7th, and the Lakers and the Rockets on March 9th. Jalen Green, 21 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. Christian Wood, 21 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists. Kevin Porter Jr., 16 points, 1 rebound, 7 assists. Eric Gordon, 11 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists. And Jay Sean Tate, 6 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists.
for the bench, they get 40 points. Alperin Sangu, 9 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. Garrison Matthews, 16 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. Kenya Martin Jr., 10 points, 2 rebounds, no assist. And Josh Christopher, 5 points, 2 rebounds, no assist. Evan Mobley, 29 points, 12 rebounds, 2 assists. Seti Osman, 13 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist. Jared Allen and Isaac Okoro both had 11 points. Jared Allen had 6 rebounds and 2 assists, and Isaac Okoro had 2, point, two rebounds and 1 assist. And Brandon Goodwin, 7 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists. For the bench, they get 33 points. Kevin Love, 21 points, 13 rebounds, 3 assists. Lamar Stevens, 7 points, 2 rebounds, no assists. Rajon Rondo, 2 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. Dean Wade, 3 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist. Ed Davis, Kevin Pangos, and Dylan Wilder all had no points, no rebounds, and no assists. The player of the game is a toss-up between Christian Wood and Jalen Green. They both had 21 points. Neither players in the Rockets were close to getting a triple-double. Kevin Love needed seven more assists to go with a triple-double. Evan Mobley needed eight more assists to go with a triple-double. But the two players of the games were Christian Wood and Jalen Green. Well, Rockets, I'm glad you finally snapped that five-game losing streak of yours. And the Rockets did not trail once in the second half. They were down big in the first quarter until they were lucky to outscore the Cavs by a point at the end of the first quarter. Rockets were amazing. I saw the whole game. They were kicking the Cavaliers' ass last night. And I'm proud of them. Keep it up, Rockets. Even though you are currently the 15th seed in the Western Conference, you are in last place in the Eastern Conference. So get ready as y'all head to San Antonio to go against the Spurs tomorrow night before you head back home at the crib to take on the Pelicans this Sunday. I think I got another game. I'm going to do a recap on. Let me see. All right, I got another game to do a recap on because I thought I was done. Shit. I can't wait to take a break to do a recap of these NBA games. There's so many of them, I can't even keep up with them. Now we're going to do a recap of last night's game between the Portland Trailblazers and the LA Lakers. Lakers outscored the Trailblazers by eight points in the first quarter, 28 to 16. 
but they lost by 11 in the second quarter, 37 to 26. At halftime, Lakers 54, Trailblazers 53. Lakers lost by four points in the third quarter, 22 to 18. After the third quarter, the score was tied at 72. Lakers made a comeback outscoring the Trailblazers by eight in the fourth quarter, 27 to 19. Final score, Los Angeles Lakers 99, Portland Trailblazers 94. Lakers are now 25 and 27 as the Trailblazers fall 21 and 31. Tonight, the Lakers have another game at the Crypto.com Arena in LA against the Clippers. Saturday, they take on the Knicks. Tuesday, they take on the Bucks. Next Wednesday, a rematch against the Trailblazers. Next Saturday, against the Warriors. The 16 taking on the Jazz. Then they got the All-Star break. The 25th, a rematch taking on the Clippers. The 27th, taking on the Pelicans. March 1st, taking on the Mavs. March 3rd, against the Clippers. March 5th, taking on the Warriors. March 7th against the Spurs. March 9th against my Rockets. Anthony Davis, 30 points, 15 rebounds, 2 assists. Avery Bradley, 11 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist. Russell Westbrook, 9 points, 10 rebounds, 13 assists. Malik Monk, 7 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist. And Stanley Johnson, 3 points, 1 rebound, no assists. For the bench, they get 39 points. Carmelo Anthony, 24 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. Austin Reeves, no points, 3 rebounds, no assists. Taylor Horton Tucker, 5 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist. Dwight Howard, 10 points, 7 rebounds, no assists. And Kent Bazemore, no points, no rebounds, one assist. Norman Powell, 30 points, five rebounds, one assist. Afferney Simmons, 19 points, two rebounds, three assists. Yusuf Nurkic, 16 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists. CJ McCollum, 15 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. And Robert Covington, no points, 13 rebounds, 9 assists. For the bench, they get 16 points. Ben Malclamore. Two points, two rebounds, no assists. Dennis Smith Jr., four points, three rebounds, two assists. Trenton Watford, six points, six rebounds, one assist. And CJ Ellieby, two points, three rebounds, no assists.
Anthony Davis was the player of the game with 30 points, 15 rebounds, and two assists. He needed eight more assists to go with a triple-double. Russell Westbrook needed one more point to go with a triple-double. But the player of the game belongs to Anthony Davis. Last night was a good night for the Lakers and the Rockets. So congratulations to both the Rockets and the Lakers for winning their games last night. That's what's up. Congratulations to both the Rockets and the Lakers, especially the Rockets. They smote the Cavaliers last night. I didn't get to watch the Lakers and the Trailblazers, but I'm happy that the Lakers won that game. As for the Heat, they lost to the Raptors on Tuesday by six. 110 to 106. They have a game right now against the San Antonio Spurs. And my recap of that game is coming tomorrow. Despite that, all oh, the Heat are now the number two seed in the Eastern Conference. But that wraps up my thoughts about last night's game between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Houston Rockets and the Portland Trailblazers and the L.A. Lakers. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next Rockets and Lakers rants. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comment down below. What are your two cents about the Rockets smoking the Cavs last night? I'll be back around 7 o'clock to reminisce 22 years of a triple threat match between The Rock, Taz, and Kurt Angle from the February 3rd, 2000 edition of SmackDown. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Go Los Angeles Lakers and go Houston Rockets.